Uh, what I'm going to show you today is basically uh, how to remove scales off of uh, a snake skin. Uh, this is a vine maple bow that I'm doing and uh, I'm putting snake skin on it as you, as you can see and I'm going to add some more to the tips of this bow. But right now what I want to show you is how to get the scales off. Uh, the reason for taking the scales off that I know of is because when you get done with the bow and you start shooting it the scales will want to pop off and so they're when they pop off it exposes basically the the area that's not sealed so moisture can get in there and uh, I don't know if I'm totally correct about this this is just the way that I perceive it so what I'm going to show you is basically how I take the scales off and I took a piece of duct tape and just fold it around, sticky parts on the outside. And this duct tape is very sticky and it's very aggressive. Um, if you can get some cheap stuff where it's not as sticky, it'd probably be a little bit better. I've even heard of guys using steel wool and lightly rubbing it to pop off the, uh, the scales. So anyways, what you do is you got your piece of duct tape and I'm trying, going to try to be very gentle with this because this is very very sticky stuff and so what you do is you take the sticky stuff you just apply it on there and you just pull it out and then you can see the scales coming off type of deal right there all right and you just go down the whole skin trying to get all these scales and you can hear them pulling off too and this is the first one that I've ever done as in a snakeskin backing, and uh, it's a, a very interesting journey putting a snakeskin backing on a bow. So, I hope people, you know, when they get into bow making, want to try this because it puts a lot of appeal into a bow. Makes a bow look really cool, gives it some camo, natural camo type of deal. So right now we're just going around, getting all these scales off. And this is pretty much it. And so, if you guys get into bow making, Man, even if you just get a little piece of snake skin, small amount, slap it on a bow, it can really enhance the, the look of your bow type of deal. So anyways, that's pretty much just the way I do it. Um, you know, if you got any of your own tips or techniques about bow making or chipping rock or whatever on YouTube, um, just go ahead and send me a message and you know I love sitting around and shooting the bull about making bows and chipping rock and learning stuff new from other people alright thanks for watching bye